I would like to take a quick video today to show you how I am finishing my round cross stitching. What you will need is you will need your finished cross stitch piece. You will need your sticky board. Um, I have already cut uh, two layers of batting to go on top of mine. This is cut at three and a half inches for this particular one. Uh, you're going to need a rotary cutter, a pen, some thread and a needle, and then I'm going to be using this template that I've created to help me get a better positioning for finishing my work. So to start with, I'm going to clear this out of my area. Um, this template, if you can see it, um, has an inner line. There's a slotted outline here and then the outside edge. What I use the inner line for is to center the piece around my cross stitch. Continue making adjustments until you feel as though your cross stitch is in the center of the inner circle. So once I feel that that is pretty good and centered, I'm going to take my pen, I'm just using a friction pen, and I'm going to mark a line around following the inside of those slotted edges on the template. I'm going to use this for my stitching line to help me even better center my design. Once I've done that, I'm now going to take my rotary cutter and I am going to trim my piece around the outside of the template. If you have a rotating mat, um, this would be a, a good time to use that. Otherwise, you just work your way around until you've cut out the piece. Now that I have my piece cut out, I'm going to take my thread and my needle and I forgot, you also need some snips uh, or scissors to cut your thread. And I'm going to begin doing a running stitch using the line that I traced. All the way back around until you get to where you started. Having your tails be on the same side. Next what I will do is I'm going to take my sticky board. I'm going to insert it on the inside of my stitch. And now... Put it in the center and we'll go ahead and pull my edges tight. As you can see here, I struggled a little bit with this method. I realized after I finished this that it was actually easier to tack one of the edges down so the first edge that you start with to make yourself a little knot uh, as you begin your running stitch. And then that allows you to just keep pulling and it's already attached. Um, I found this to be the easiest way of getting uh, your running stitch to cinch up around your circle. What I like to do is just kind of tie a little knot. I like to save as much fabric as I can, so that's why I have such small, such small areas on the outside. You just kind of shift it around so that your stitching edge is at the back. Once I get it this far, I go ahead and I tie a little knot. Again, making sure that it's pulled tightly, as tight as I can get it. And 
what I like to do is take my excess tails and just kind of pull in the edges a little bit. I will also secure this down with, um, make sure, there we go. I think that's, um, so I will go ahead and I will just start basically doing another round just to, to tack down these edges just a little bit. Also pulling it a little bit tighter as I go. I wanted to provide a little more clarification on the type of stitch I was doing in the second round. What I'm doing is I'm moving my needle forward to grab a bit of the fabric and then I'm coming I'm coming back to where I started to anchor that with a little bit of a pull. Then again I move myself forward and then if your needle doesn't come unthreaded Then again, I anchor it back where I've already stitched. This will help really pull those edges down. Again, move it forward, anchor back. So I'm left-handed, so I am moving in a counterclockwise direction. So I'll go counterclockwise, Come back and anchor clockwise a little bit. And then when you're finished, you can just tie off your threads. As you can see, these have really flattened out by doing that method the second time around. The running stitch gets you to be able to get it around, and then this second stitch around helps you really anchor that down. Again, if you want to put a little bit of hot glue underneath here to fully, and then I'll add my washers. There is your finished button. Perfectly centered. All nice and tight, ready to go. I like to connect mine by putting the washers on the back of here um, as the piece that goes on has um, buttons, but you could also just paste this on to whatever piece you're finishing it with. The other piece of this template that I like to use because I, I like to save my fabric is now that I've got this piece of fabric, I can set my template on here and I can use the middle dot to mark a center point. Um, you can use a pen or you can go ahead and use a uh, needle uh, to mark that and then this is my center I know that I can start my next design here um, if it finishes at three and a half inches and it will fit in this piece of fabric